Hi everyone, Phil from Tefa Techs here. Today we're going to be looking at these wooden Bluetooth speakers. Well, I've also got a 3.5mm jack from Edifier. It's the R33BT. We've got links just below as well as prices in the description if you're interested in purchasing. Before we go on to the main video, if you would do us a favour, click that like button, subscribe, click the bell as well. And that way you'll get notifications of new videos and live streams we do. Again, doing all these things helps support the channel and helping to support the channel allows us to release more videos, better quality videos and more content exclusively just for you. Okay, let's have a quick look at the box. So as you can see here, you can see the speakers on the white box, pretty straightforward. It says Edifier, you've got the model number, which is R33BT. It says the active speakers, it tells you about Bluetooth version five. You've got your three and a half mil jack or your AUX, depending on what you want to call it. It's also 10 watts RMS. You've also got a three and a half inch uh, speaker in there as well. And you've also got a wooden enclosure. So they look pretty good on the side of the box you've got a better view of one of the speakers with a black background on the back it does give you a few more bits of information about the specifications but mainly for different countries uh, the other side again shows you the top control panel uh, with the I'm guessing power button and uh, Bluetooth options like volume up and down and then the top of the box does go a little bit more in-depth with a few of the bits of uh, information like the contents and so forth Okay, so where do I start? Well, let's start with this big pile of plastic. Each individual item inside the box came with a piece of plastic around it. Uh, don't, and obviously the cable cap, what goes on the end of the power cable. So this cable had a piece of plastic around it. This did, the manual even had a piece of plastic as well as this cable over here and each of the speakers. It's a bit unnecessary really, especially when you've got the foam or the polystyrene, what goes around the speakers anyway. I don't see what the need is for all this plastic. Yes, most of it has recycle marks on it, but that's not the problem is obviously these things bits of plastic are getting basically blown out to sea and so forth from recycling plants and so on killing fish killing the environment everything like that so please can we do something else you can easily use some sort of tissue paper to cover these which it can easily be dissolved you don't need all this plastic so i can't see the need for it to be honest with you especially in 2021 nearly 2022 Okay, so we've got the manual, which is pretty straightforward. It's a manual, tells you how to use it, tells you about holding the minus or the volume down uh, symbol on top to disconnect Bluetooth, hold the power button to uh, change between different devices, so Bluetooth or auxiliary cable and so forth. So it's pretty straightforward. It's multilingual, so it does have lots of different instructions in there for different countries and so forth. But the catches, uh, do we really need a manual like this in 2021, 2022? They could easily get away with having a QR code, which people can scan. It'll take them to the website and it'll show them the latest version of the manual and they can choose which language they want to look at it and so forth. It also saves the environment, less trees cut down, even if it's recyclable paper, it's still, it's less cost for the manufacturer. We also have, a disposable uh, disposal information um, leaflet there which tells you how to uh, dispose of it correctly due to European Union rules and regulations and all that crap um, next we've got the auxiliary cable itself or a three and a half mil jack so basically one end plugs in the back of the speaker the other end plugs into your device ie PC laptop uh, even smart device if it takes a three and a half mil jack so that's pretty straightforward you've got your power cable there and then on on the other side you have also got another cable here this is just basically to connect the left and right speaker together so it's just basically so they work together otherwise only one speaker will work if you don't plug it in okay quick thing uh, cable lengths so the power cable is roughly one and a half meters long personally i prefer something a little bit longer maybe two meters or a little bit over that the 
Auxiliary cable is roughly 1.7 meters and the actual cable what connects the two speakers together is actually surprisingly quite long it is actually 2.1 meters so that's quite a big distance you can have the two speakers apart potentially separate uh, different sides of your TV or something like that um, you've got a lot of cable length there but the power cable just a little short for me personally let's have a quick look at the actual speakers the um, themselves the front panel does remove which is there to protect obviously the speakers so obviously if you take that off you may get maybe a slightly better sound because it's uh, less protection on it, but obviously less protection means there's more chance you're going to damage it, so that's totally up to you. Uh, they just push back on basically, so it's pretty straightforward and exactly the same for the right speaker as well. So again, they just push back on if you get it right. There we go, so easily removable. So it's a nice mesh front on there, so keeps it nice and protected. On the top, you've got your volume down, up and power. The volume down is used for disconnecting from the Bluetooth, if you do have it connected to a Bluetooth device. And then the power button, if you hold that down, that allows you to change between different sources. Otherwise, on the back of the speakers, you you haven't really got much to see, to be honest with you, other than obviously it being wood all the way around, which is nice. Also on the other speaker, you do have a few more connections on there, uh, as well as a power button. So you've got a rocker switch for power and on and off. You've also got the cable which you, which you use to connect the other speaker to. You've got the auxiliary connection, which you obviously connect up to obviously a TV or whatever takes a three and a half mil jack basically so a laptop PC or anything along that lines and that's obviously a power cable so not much to see but it is all wood and they do state it's MDF wood if that's uh, of interest to you okay so we've got the speakers set up we're going to do a sound test in a few seconds just so you can hear the difference or sort of hear what it's like but just bear in mind we're having to record the quality of the speakers through a camera which is obviously going the sounds coming through a microphone which is then getting sent to your pc and played through your speakers so it won't sound exactly like it does in person but one of the things we have noticed is the sound quality sounds different depending on how you're playing the music as in what source you're using we're finding it's a little bit muffled in our experience uh, when you're playing it via the auxiliary cable or the three and a half mil jack but if you play it via the bluetooth it sounds a lot better or at least it does to us so right so what i'm going to do first is play this using the pc audio um so it's working through the auxiliary cable bear in mind it's going to be me talking so you can hear what I verbally sound like uh, and then comparing it to another one. The reason why you're having to do it with me talking or playing back is because of uh, YouTube uh, copyright infringement and stuff like that for, for music files so we can't really play the latest tracks from Beyonce or whoever it may be. So you're going to have to deal with my voice instead. So I'm going to play this video now of me talking. Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today we're going to be looking at this Alexa RGB RAM. I'm pretty sure this is their first RGB RAM product, if not their first RGB product altogether. And this is the Hades RGB DDR4 OC memory. It's got a standard speed of 3600 megahertz. So it's as you could hear there, it sounds a little bit muffled. Now I'm turning over to Bluetooth. It takes a second to connect. See what it looks like, see what the RGB effects like and how it performs and how stable it actually is. If you're interested in more information about purchasing this or the price, click the links in the description below and it will take you to the cheapest prices available in your area. <laughs> Okay, as you could hear there, it sounds a lot clearer. Uh, the volume levels are the same. It just seems to not be as muffled sounding. So we've swapped the auxiliary cable for another one just to make sure. And we've also tried it playing it from another device just in case it was the settings on that device. But the, it, there is a noticeable difference between Bluetooth and the auxiliary cable. So it's quite hard to say how we recommend this. So if you're, you're going to be using Bluetooth, I'd probably say, yeah, it's probably worth the money. But if you're going to use it via the the auxiliary cable or at least the unit we've got then I'd say it's not worth the, uh, the money so it's really up to you 
how you're going to be using this. Don't get me wrong, you may buy another unit, it might be slightly different. We've also played the music back and different tracks and stuff, uh, taking the fronts off just in case that was causing any issues, didn't make any difference in reality. Uh, so yeah, so via the auxiliary cable, a little bit muffled, via Bluetooth, sounds a lot better. It's a bit of a strange one to be honest, I've not seen that before. Thank you for watching this video everyone, it's really appreciated you made it all the way to the end. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment and even click that bell so you get notifications of new videos and live streams. It does help support the channel and supporting the channel basically means that we can release more content for you and also better quality content going forward. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.